Previously on Fifth Day Adventures, our illustrious Captain Tim made and test fit the new transom core. Let's see what he's getting into now. Sweet! Oh! Okay, so as you can see, I have made the transom core piece out of some kusa in the middle, divinacell on the sides, a couple of layers of glass on it just to make it stiff enough to put in the transom. A lot of times you'll see, you know, a solid piece of kusa all the way across the back or solid plywood. Probably the optimal way to do it um, adds weight and kusa is incredibly expensive. I happen to have this much kusa to be able to do a double layer in the center for the clamping surface and that's really all that's needed in this little boat. It's probably even overkill considering that it's only going to be holding up a 20-25 horse motor at the most. It's definitely much stronger than what was ever in this hull. I'm pretty sure from the day that I bought it, there was pretty much no coring left in the transom. It was just some squishy, old, spongy plywood. And this is going to be awesome. It's going to be super strong, especially the way that I'm going to bracket it in. This is going to be silly strong. It'll probably even hold up like a 150. <laughs> that would be silly. So, uh, I got to start some prep work here. I got to grind in the edges to uh, taper so that as I lay glass in, it can feather itself out. I got to get this ready to glue in. To do that, I got to prep the inside of what's left here, and I got to prep this piece so that it fits where it's supposed to. So, some more grinding work needs to be done, which means I had to put on long sleeves, gloves, long pants. I even have a hood. I'm going to put the respirator on, and we're going to get covered in more itchy, nasty dust. I guess it's time to grind. Alright, so here's my game plan. I'm just going to go ahead and drill a hole where the old drain used to be, since I'm going to be putting one there anyway. Uh, run a bolt through there to hold the base of the board in place. And simply just use two C-clamps to hold the top up. Then I will mix up some putty and glue this thing in. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I am at a point now that I'm going to clean this up with some acetone. I'm going to mix up my glue. Uh, it's going to be basically like a polyester putty. And we're going to glue this thing together and let her set up. And then I'll finish glassing in this transom. So my materials I have to do this are polyester resin. I'm going to mix in some milled fibers and some cavasil. And then we'll kick that off. And squeegee are in there. I also grabbed a Ziploc bag that in case I want to use that to kind of fill in the whole edge around the transom with whatever's left. That's why I'm mixing a big batch. It's not going to take much to glue this, but I want to make sure I got enough to fill in the whole thing. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. <laughs> Here's my next plan. I gotta mix up a little bit more putty and I'm gonna run it all around these edges as a fillet to kind of just curve, curve things out really nice and neat. And then I'm gonna come back with some six inch tape and do tabs all along the inside just to help secure this 
to the to the entire hall. Okay, I got my whole little fillet done. While that's getting kind of stiff, what I'm gonna do now is start mixing up resin so that I can lay in my tabs. Because I'm doing kind of a wet on wet, that way they'll bond like crazy good. It's hot out here, so this stuff's gonna stiffen up quick. Okay, so there you have her. I've got tabs in all along the sides. We've got the fillet weld in there. I mean, this thing is about as stiff as it's ever been, and I have a lot to do to it. So I'm excited, super, super excited with how this is coming out. Next thing to do is put glass on the outside. And to make that easier, I want to flip the hull. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and pull her off the trailer and just give her a flipsy. So here we go. Boom, beautiful. Okay, so I have gone ahead and flipped her off camera. I did a little extra grinding to the outside here to kind of smooth her out. And then I even mixed up another batch of uh, like putty and I just kind of feathered this in a little bit just so it's a nice smooth taper. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my first batch of resin then I can set my glass on here, I'll wet it out, go mix a second batch of resin, pop my next piece of glass on, wet it out, and that's probably gonna be about it for the day. I gotta get another glove, because I just tore this one, and then we'll get kicking. Alright, so apparently my big camera died on me. I have no idea when it died or what. I went through three batteries today and I hardly ever talked to the camera too. Sorry about that. The transom is pretty much in and solid. Uh, I've got multiple laminations done here to the back. I did a total of three layers of 1708 and this thing is going to be stiff. It's going to be nice. So yeah, that's uh, you know all I got for today. My cameras are dead, so I'm not gonna record anymore. Um, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're excited to see this little boat come together just like I am. I'm crazy excited for this next step that I'm about to step into. Um, I think you'll like it too. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, come back and visit, uh, hit like. Give me some comments. Let me know what you, what you think about what I'm doing here. Tell me how crazy I am or you know, do all the armchair stuff about how I should be doing it this way or that way. You know, everybody loves to read those. Um, so, until uh, to the next video, I hope to see you out on the water. 
I hope to get this thing out on the water real soon and do some fishing because I'm, uh, I'm itching, that's for sure. So y'all take care and God bless. If you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. You'll be sorry if you don't. This transit's already stronger than it's ever been. <laughs>